He's a famous organ maker who was actually German, but he moved to the Netherlands after World War I, and he started making street organs. Originally, it would have been on a three-wheel cart, just about as wide as the, wind, as the street organ itself, pulled by two men, pushed by a third, and then they'd stop at a street corner or a market square. One person would turn the hand crank, it's now on the wall over there, and the other person would pass the hat to make some money. <laughs> In 1947, the people of Amsterdam gave it to the people of Holland, Michigan, in thanks for the U.S. helping liberate the Netherlands after World, in World War II. That's really cool. And we used it in our Tulip Time Parade through the 1960s. And it still plays? It does now. At that point, it got to where it really needed major repairs. And it was stored for many years in areas around town where people could see it occasionally, but they couldn't hear it. Okay. So finally, in the 1990s, they gave it a major restoration. Took the crank, hand crank and put it up on the wall put a nice little electric motor around the back <laughs> and built this nice house for it. No. The front is beautiful, the back is interesting. You're welcome to walk around it as I play it. Thank you. It's loud.